Pikachu! Welcome everyone to Pokemon Yellow. Oh yes, you may be wondering, what was all that stuff about what's next? Oh, that's definitely next. But this is going to be a side playthrough that I'm just going to do whenever I feel like it. And in this case, we're going to be playing through all of Gen 1 Pokemon, and then at the end, we're going to collect a team made up of the teams from each of the Gen 1 games and take it through Pokemon Stadium. Oh yes, it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Primarily the Gym Leader Castle, probably not the stadium uh, matches themselves. Let's start a new game. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. I'm sure everyone knows by now, but this is Pokemon Yellow or the Special Pikachu Edition. Um, a game that is very near and dear to my heart, extremely near and dear to my heart. An RPG built around the collection and battling of small creatures called Pokemon. Something I'm sure if you've clicked on this video, you've heard of before. My grandmother has heard of Pokemon. So, you know, there is a lot going on here. We're going to name ourselves Yellow because we are playing the Yellow Edition. Now, Special Pikachu Edition was the first um, time that Pokemon did a third game in a generation. Um, before it was, well, technically there was already a third game, but you know what I mean, a special edition for the generation. Something that they would follow with Pokemon Platinum, Emerald, uh, Crystal, stuff like that. Eventually they would cease with that by doing DLCs. Or, in the case of, like, Black and White, Black and White 2, uh, Pokemon's... Didn't they do Sun and Moon 2? Something like that. Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun, something like that. Um, but for a while there, they were just doing a third game in the generation, and this is the first one to do such a thing. We're going to name them Blue. They're going to be our rival for this adventure, just as, it, just as in the... Um, Pokemon manga, which was a brutal, absolutely brutal, <laughs> very, very, very brutal. Nobody really knew what Pokemon needed to be yet, and the manga was like pretty insane with like Pokemon getting cut in half, Pokemon straight up dying and stuff like that. So yeah, Pokemon's come a long way from this. I love how there's just, if you look, there's just, I don't know if that's supposed to be your nose or your mouth, I've never really questioned it, that little pixel. But here we are. Yellow is playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. Hell yeah. Uh, first things first, let's get the potion out of the PC. It could be useful for us. And now, unlike the uh, red and blue, and in Japan, the green version, we only start with a single Pokemon. Now, in Pokemon Red, Blue, um, when we do those, we are going to be doing, um, we're going to be starting with, like, Charmander or Squirtle or something like that. Uh, this one, we are going to ha get Bulbasaur at some point. We're going to keep him as part of our team, just to sort of show off all the Pokemon. Or, well, not all the Pokemon, that'd be impossible. Even with three runs, it's only 18 out of 150 Pokemon. So, you know. But yes, welcome everyone to Pallet Town. If uh, it's a little bit smaller than perhaps the anime, uh, would have you believe. And there's not a lot. Yes, this is indeed the where it all began. Where a billion, billion dollar world-conquering franchise began. Gramps isn't around! I ran here because he said he had a Pokemon for me. Okay, that's all I'm gonna... That's the voice I'm gonna use for Blue. I'm gonna use a couple voices. I'm not gonna talk to virtually everyone because, well, that would take forever. Hey, wait, don't go out. Is this the voice I'm using for Oak? Hey, wait, my name is Oak. That was close. Wow, Pokemon live in tall grass. What, what is this voice I'm using for Professor Oak? Oh no, I'm being accosted by a small yellow mouse. It can cause electrical currents that would cause my nipples to jump right up out of my jumpsuit. Anyway, enough about whatever the fuck I was just saying. Welcome everyone to Pokemon Yellow. We're gonna have a fun old time with it. 
and I can only assume what a game called the Special Pikachu Edition would have you have for your first Pokemon. Ooh. Pokemon can appear any time in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. I don't really want to anymore now that I've get now that I've given you this voice, Professor Oak. I kind of feel as though I'm deeply terrified by whatever the hell you have to show me. I kind of need an adult, and considering there's only like two or three adults in this entire town. Gramps, I'm fed up. What was the voice I used? Like, Gramps. I, that's all I got. Gramps. Gramps. I'm fed up with waiting. Hmm? Blue? Why are you here? Already. I said for you to come by later. Ah, oh, whatever. Just wait there. I'm going to show someone who is not my grandson favoritism right in front of you, so you grow up with considerable trauma. Considering I'm your only father and potentially only parent figure. Do you see that ball on the table? Oh yeah, baby. It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on. Take it. Hey, Gramps. What about me? What about you? Be patient, Blue. Oh wait, this is the wrong. Be patient, Blue. I'll give you one later. Get out while you still can, man. Your grandfather is insane, and he sounds like he's going to, like, do horrible things to us. I'm telling you, man, get out while you still can. I'm gonna take your, uh, probably, like, birthday present. Instead, he's gonna high kick me. I flew several feet, so he, like, jump kicked my ass. No way, Yellow. I want this Pokemon. And Blue snatched Blue, what are you doing? Gramps, I want this one. I, I, that's the only way I can get to that voice, but be like, Gramps. But I, oh, all right then. That Pokemon is yours. I was going to give you one anyway. Yellow, come over here. Why do I, why do I, why am I doing this voice? This is like, Oka's terrifying me. I've played this game since I was like two. All right, maybe not that young. Since I was like three or four. Yellow. Oh god, it's getting worse. Yellow, this is the Pokemon I caught earlier. You can have it. I caught it in the wild, and it's not tame yet. Here you go, have a wild animal that has superpowers. You wanna give a nickname to Pikachu? I always named it Zap as a kid. Let's name it something else. Yeah, uh, 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 we'll name it after a friend of ours. Ooh, should we name it after friends of ours? Or should we name it after something else? Mmm, it's such an important case. We'll name it Pickles. After a good friend that we have. Pickles the Pikachu. It just makes sense, doesn't it? It's not Zap or Blart or something like that. <laughs> or Splart, that's a reference. But we have a Pikachu. Oak. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can fight against it. Afterward, go on to the next town. Can do. Gramps! Yeah, my Pokemon looks a lot stronger. You can definitely, uh, ooh, I accidentally spit it everything up. So we have Pickles the Pikachu. Um, his, uh, his speed is pretty good. His attack is somehow better than his special, uncertain. That works. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're like a later Pokemon fan, special attack and special defense was just special at the time. Also, there's no steel or dark or fairy type. There's actually weirdly more complexities that are completely hidden from the player. Like speed actually introduces you to um, a mechanic built around uh, critical hits. Your critical hits is based your critical hit chance is based, instead of around um, a flat number, being based around your speed. If that happens. Blue wants to fight. Here's our first proper Pokemon battle. And um, what I love is Growl. We're going to growl at him a little bit. I love the little animations. Just totally uh, 
lower its attack and then just start electrocuting this poor little fox. Like a little finnick fox, little friendo, a little normal type um, Eevee. Eevee is indeed a normal type Pokemon. I don't remember um, what its exact uh, number is. Oh, wow, we're just going to steamroll it now with it being paralyzed. Paralysis, if you are unaware, means sometimes you can't attack. Simple as that. I just wanted to growl at it to make sure I would win, but now that it's paralyzed and also its speed is like halved by paralysis, it's something like that. Oh, uh, there, there's just no chance. You're supposed to win this anyway, but even if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. I'm just gonna electrocute this poor Finnick Fox until it falls over from the pain and doesn't get back up. Because that's what we should teach children, baby. Pickles leveled up. His attack is still higher, uncertain how that works. Yay, he learned a move that's almost useless for him because he does special damage. Nice. Unbelievable. Gramps. Unbelievable. There we go. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Yellow got $175. Yeah, I just mugged him. Beat him up, take his lunch money and like $160 more and then bail. I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Gramps, yellow, smell you later. <laughs> Get out of here. What? Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. You should just keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it and see how it feels about you. Oak has gone through like three different voices since I started. I don't even know. Man, but yeah, we got unique to the Pikachu edition. We have Pikachu following us around. We can look at him and he's pissed. He hates our guts. He is pissed. Uh, I wonder what that's supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be a vase or something on the table. Yellow, if you drive your Pokemon too hard, they'll dislike you. This Pokemon already dislikes me. It is ready to electrocute me, cause my heart to stop because even the Smallest amount of electricity can do that. And I will die horribly out in the wilderness without anyone to love me. Let me see. I think I can get a town map from this chick. Yeah. Oh, nope. Okay. That's fine. That's cool. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Now, I will be trying to catch every new Pokemon that I find. I'm not necessarily going for 151 or anything like that. But... I will be going for um, every new Pokemon we meet, I'll try to catch. I'll try to catch all the legendaries. Now, I probably won't be using any of the legendaries. Um, I'll just be trying to catch Pokemon that are interesting and try to use them as long as possible, even if they're not necessarily valid or not valid, viable. Like, I'm not trying necessarily to go for a competitive team or anything like that. I'm just trying to go for a team that's interesting and cool, and maybe doesn't get used that much. Like, this time around, I'm thinking about using Hitmonlee. Hello, everybody. Pokemon Center, heal up for free. Don't know how they stay open. They must be, uh, kept alive by the government. A Kanto government. Government came and took my baby. Anyway, enough about that. Let's save. We're gonna override a copy of my, yes, the older file will be erased, that's fine. It's a backup, and, and actually it's a copy of a backup. So it's like the backup of a backup. Now, before we go and do anything else, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon Mart and take care of this little, it's not even a side quest. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know, Professor Oak, unfortunately. His order came in. Will you take it to him? Yeah, of course, why not? Got Oak's parcel. Unfortunately, we can't do anything into the game, like properly in the game. If we try to go up here, the road is blocked by a grumpy ass old man who thinks he owns the public roads, like every boomer. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is private property. This is the public road. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Yeah, I'm also a complete asshole trying to claim public roads before I've had my uh, daily dose of caffeine. Yeah, that's how that works. But we can easily jump back. 
Look at these little tulips having a, themselves a little dance in the wind. I love it. This game is actually very adorable. Pixel art, especially like 8-bit, 16-bit, etc. Is a lost art. Unfortunately. I mean, before you had the only way to make something look good um, in this art style was to try your absolute ass off in this simplistic style that you have no choice but to make look good in. Because, I mean, like, you didn't have a choice. You just didn't have the technical ability to look beyond it. But there are some definite sprites and some definite artwork from this era and from earlier eras that you just don't see anymore because, well, you can't. It's just now that we have the technology, we don't even remotely bother. Here you go, Oak. Ah. Oh. This is the custom Pokeball that I ordered. Thanks, Yellow. By the way, I must- This is like his fourth voice, this video. By the way, I must ask you to do something for me. Gramps! At least that's- At least I can do that consistently. Gramps! Gramps! A Pokemon has grown stronger! Check it out! Okay, he's already starting to fall away into Oak's, like, third voice or something. Ah, oh, Blue, good timing. I needed to ask both of you to do something for me. Is it going to be a side quest that, uh, that only like 2% of the people in the world have ever completed? On the desk, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. It looks like a low-tech encyclopedia, but who am I to judge? Yellow and blue. Take these with you. Yay, we got the Pokedex. Now everybody should know what a Pokedex does. It's a Pokedex. It tells you about the Pokemans. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. Mush! Onward! You're only ten years old. Get on with it, slave children. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. I hate to say it, but I don't need you. You don't hate to say that at all. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Shut up. Blue. Get the fuck out of here, you Gary-ass looking mother... Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna be cursing for this. If you're expecting a child's, a children's playthrough, please do not watch. Grandpa asks you to run an errand? I don't know why she's talking like this to you. Here, this will help you. <laughs> it's like, get, oh god. Sound just like your brother. Wow, that is the most, like, not hexagon. Is that a hexagon? Or is that a pentagon? I don't know. It's some sort of, sort of screwed up looking rhombus looking face I've just noticed that the NPC has. Anyway, let's get out of here. It's just because it's like a mildly top down view. Mildly top down, like isometric. Yeah, that's what we'll. Yeah, isometric. That's totally the word for this. Oh, he's so mad. Oh, he's so, so mad at me. Ooh. A battle. Ooh, a Pidgey. A normal flying type Pokemon that is about to get obliterated because flying is weak to electricity. And electricity is all I have considering pickles. Ooh, he actually survived. Boom, guest in. This one is a normal type move, I think. Yeah, later on it becomes a flying type move, but right now it's just a normal type move. Very, very nice. Pickles gained some experience. Alright, here we go again. So, uh, right now I'm showing off all the battles. Later on, I'll be editing out the battles that we've already seen, at least for each game. Um, but, like, important events like, a like Pickles gaining a level or gaining new moves, stuff like that, I'll show off. Let's go ahead and use the Pokemon Center. And then I won't be showing off, like, level, grinding, um, 
farming for Pokemon, for certain Pokemon that I want to use for the run. Like right now, I'm thinking about using the Butterfree for the run. Because we're going to need something to help us get past Brock. Um, Mankey is also an option. Mankey is definitely an option. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to keep Mankey and Primate all the way. There's also, there's several options to get past the first gym leader because all of his Pokemon are ground and they are immune to electrical, uh, electrical attacks. So what does that mean? It means we need to get a Pokemon that can deal with his, uh, Pokemon. Um, and there's multiple options. A bunch of these multiple options. I also want to get a bunch of antidotes. Four should be fine for now. And then a bunch of potions. Just to add bankrupt myself, it's fine. So, we have the Butterfree option, because Butterfree can learn a Psychic-type attack that just ignores his incredible defense. We've got the um, Nidoran route, who can learn a Fighting-type move, and then Mankey, who is a fighting type Pokemon, who also, once again, learns a fighting type move. Uh, unlike Red and Blue, you can get Mankey very early on in Pokemon Yellow, and I think, in fact, we will go ahead and do the Mankey route. And Mankey should be in here. So let's find some new Pokemon. All right, Nidoran. Now there's two Nidoran. Both of them learned Double Kick at some point. But I don't need, which is fighting type, which the rock uh, Pokemon that Brock use are weak to. Um, it'll still take some good use. Probably the most effective um, route is to go the confusion route from Butterfree. You get it at level 10 um, or like level 14. I think you get confusion and confusion ignores their super high defense. Rock ground Pokemon aren't necessarily weak to it. It just ignores their really high defense and obliterates them from their special. A mild mannered Pokemon that does not like to fight. Beware its small horn secrete venom. A poison type Pokemon and a good one at that. I love the Nidorans. Uh, let's try to find a Mankey. This is a Ratatata, a normal type Pokemon and not a bad one either. I'm afraid that Thundershock will immediately kill it. Well, we're not killing them. We're just taking them down to low health. What I'm hoping for is a Mankey. We can catch a Mankey early on here. They're slightly uncommon, but not really rare. Ratatata was caught. Nice. So, yeah, every time I meet a new Pokemon, I'm going to try and catch it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get the full po Pokedex. We'll chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, it is certain that 40 more live in the area. Oh yeah, a little rat. Uh, Ratatata Evolve Form Raticate is actually pretty good. Here is Nidoran Male. I might be able to just catch it because it's so low level. I might be able to just catch it with a Pokeball. I'm afraid I'll instantly defeat it. I'm just afraid that a um, Thundershock will immediately defeat it. Yeah, there we go. Nidoran male was caught. So both Nidorans can learn uh, double kick. Nidoran male is usually better just because it has higher attack. Um, But it's still, you know, it's not like the biggest difference this early on. Its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. You want to give a nickname? No, I am not keeping this one. Even though its evolved forms are some of my favorite, both Nido Nidoran lines I adore. Here we go. Here's a Mankey. Please be a higher level. Level three. I'll take it. Uh, once again, I'm afraid it's Thundershock. will insta-kib. Insta-gib it. Nope. This actually hurt. And I don't know if a Pokeball will catch it. Okay, uh, one more Thundershock for good measure. This might bring it down, though. Yeah, critical, especially if I critical. 
Okay, I mean, that just happens. I am not... I'm just gonna edit out the rest of this. Oh, until... Okay, until I get a mangy. If I get a crit on the first one... There we go. Should be able to catch it here. With, what, three Pokeballs? Come on, easy peasy. Yeah, all right, Mankey was caught, and we're gonna be keeping Mankey for a while. Just because in the other games, you have to wait until, like, the Safari Zone to get one or something like that. I don't remember. It takes a while to get one. A fighting-type Pokemon, an agile Pokemon that lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. I will name it after one of my friends. Uh, we'll name it after Shane. Shane, um... Like some monkeys. And so this one will be Shane. Haven't gotten to do anything with Shane lately. Uh, we've both been very busy with just life stuff, but Shane is still one of my closest friends, my best friend in the whole world. Um, and he gets to be a manky on this adventure through Pokemon Yellow. So we're gonna heal up and we're gonna call it here. This is more of an intro to this game than anything else. And I'll just be doing this whenever I feel like it, so don't expect to see like an episode a week or anything like that. It could be, I, I could upload like three episodes of this. It just depends on what time I have, how ahead I am with my other um, playthroughs. Like this one is definitely um, a background game. We're gonna, but we got some more Pokemon. I love the uh, artwork um, they use. Um, and we're gonna, get, first off, we're gonna use this to deposit them using someone's uh, PC. We don't know who's yet. And before we get to the next episode, I'm going to level up Shane and Pickles to level seven. And we'll go from there. Yeah, we should go from there. Ooh, let's check out um, Shane's stats. Attack is 10 at level three, which is pretty good. Defense and speed and special are not fantastic. But, I mean, it is just a new Pokemon. I can switch to... No, I can't. But, I mean, like, we look at a level 6 Pikachu. His attack is 12. At, and he's twice the level of Shane. So, Shane should, in theory, get um, very high attack power. His special... We'll probably never get much higher just because his special doesn't need to be any higher. Unfortunately, that means his special defense is also low. So we got to be careful with how we use Shane. But this early on, most attacks are physical. Um, yeah, just most attacks are physical this early on. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Pokemon Yellow, the beginning of the Generation 1 journey.